Okay, so in this, in this video I'm going to show you some of the uh, more advanced sketching options you can use. So for this purpose, on the last video I sketched on the XZ axis, I'm drawing on the floor. This, for this purpose I'm just going to draw on the side view. So I click on the there and click to create a sketch. The camera pans around and I can start my sketch on this side view. So I'm just going to draw a basic shape to start off with. Start with a rectangle. Like that, just to remind me of the last video. In. And I'll just fill it the outside there like that. Okay, so there's that shape. Now, let's say for example I wanted to do a contour of that shape. If I go down to sketch, you can see I've got an option there which says offset. If I click on there and I put my mouse on that line, it's selecting the whole shape, which is what I want click on it and you can see what it's doing is it's drawing a parallel line either inside or if I drag it out it can draw on the outside of the lines I've already done. And again you can set your distance so if I put 0.5 it's going to draw it half a millimetre away from there. If I change that to 1 it's going to draw it a millimetre away and it'll copy the curvature so you see as it's getting narrower the curve is narrower as well but that's what it would be like. When I'm happy with that I press OK. So now, you see it's giving me these different areas that I'll be able to push and pull to make into a 3D shape. I'm going to go out to sketch, and this time I'm going to go to slot. Click on the centre to centre slot. So with this one, if I click on from here to here, for example, you can see what it's doing, it's going to put a slot into that space. Again, I can set all those measurements as you can see. There is a slot, and again, I can push and pull that through. You can also do slots on an, on an arc, if I click on that. So there's my first point. This is my second point, and I can basically let you are drawing an arc. But when I've finished it, you can see it draws a contour around that arc, so I can add it as a slot later on that's what you need. Now I'm just going to press stop sketch. You can see I can pull it out to there. I'm just going to hide that sketch I'm going to show you some more examples. If I click on there now, I'm going to create a sketch from that side. So I'm going to show you some of these more advanced tools. So I'm going to start off with the circular pattern tool here. So first thing I'm going to do is just with the line tool, just draw a random shape. There we go. Now, click on the sketch and I'm going to go to the circular pattern tool here. Okay. Now, it's saying what objects do I want to select. So for that, I'm just going to click on all of these lines, like that. So all of those are selected. Now it's going to ask me what the center point I want to be. If I click select, I could Set this as the centre point here, for example, or maybe this point here. I'm going to click on that. You can see what it's done is it's copied it around three times, worked out the angles to make sure it's equal, and it's on the full setting. Now if I increase that to four, you can see it's under a fourth and a fifth. If I add a sixth one, you can see it starts to overlap there. So I'll just keep it to five for now. And there we go. So you can see it's done that shape in a circular pattern. Now let's say for example you don't want that to be the point, you want the point over here. Well there isn't a point over here to select so I'm going to go to sketch and what you can actually do is you can make your own point. If I put that point there now that's going to be my centre point and I can use that point tool from there. So for example I want to a line there. So I'll put that on and then whenever I draw a line it will snap to that point for me allowing me to make my own bespoke shapes. So it is a really useful little tool, the point tool. Right, so I'm going to go to sketch, I'm going to do the circular pattern again. Objects to select, let's 
click on those lines. This time when it says the center point, I'm going to click that new point that I've just put over here. Now, I've done it, I just need to pan the camera a bit and then you can see. All of these shapes are going around that particular point there. And again, I can increase that to create this pattern. It goes all the way around, like that. Now if I wanted to change it rather than being on full, I could do it at a particular angle. So it's only going so far, so it's just set at 180 degrees. It's only kind of doing a half circle. Um, like that. Or you could actually put in your own specific measurements if needed. Okay. So, I'm going to use that particular setup. Circular pattern. Objects. Back to there. Center point. There. Create this nice pattern. That's okay. And if I stop the sketch, you can see I've got that as an option. I could then start to push pull these out. 